Welcome back to the channel. This week we are doing Darkroom Printing. A warm tone developer that you can make at home. It's from the 1930s. 1938. And it's really easy to make and the results are beautiful. In this video you're going to see the prints that I made in the darkroom. The recipe. So let's get started and mix some chemicals. I'm going to make a warm tone developer, paper warm tone developer from what used to be Agfa or before Agfa, actually the Givar G262 formula. Before we begin, I need to make a disclaimer that you need to follow the safety guidelines that are included with your chemicals for your country. That means you should wear hand protection such as gloves, eye protection such as goggles, and something for your lungs like a mask on your face, but I'm not responsible for your health. Please read the safety guidelines that come with each of these chemicals proper dark room safety guidelines should be followed at all times and keep these chemicals away from children potassium carbonate 90 grams hydroquinine only 25 grams we need potassium bromide uh, two grams of that and some sodium sulfate which there is 70 grams of sodium sulfate and we will make it in one liter of water, starting with 750 grams, and put in our container here, and we'll mix all our chemicals together. So, usually you do it from the list down, and then finish up with what's left in here. Yeah, I'll measure out my chemicals, and that will be my own homemade um, warm tone paper developer. Let's see if it works. I actually took the form developer out because I realized that there was little crystals in it and I heated it up. My trusty little thing here which has a little temperature device and I, so everything is dissolved in it. And that's kind of important if you want to read if you want your developer. I'm using a glass rod and of course rubber gloves because you don't really want this stuff on your hands it's got a pH of about 11 to 12 so that's quite alkaline and that will burn uh, it will be irritating so I gotta remember you're gonna going to use this at a 1 to 6 uh, solution so you can use it from 1 to 2 but I think most people use it from 1 to 6 and that's what I'm going to start off with and see how that works. But that looks pretty good. That will be ready to use. There's a strip test on the neobrom paper. It's about 8 seconds, 12 seconds and here 25 seconds. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I tried out my silver brown paper which is a very old paper probably from the 60s came out really nice it's a, it's a little bit browner in reality than you see in the video it's just being washed now because that's a fiber based paper but the tones are lovely in it and it's a little warm and that's with the one to six solution uh, of that warm toner that I put together that's on this is on brome silver paper so that works pretty well it took about three minutes to develop That wash a little bit. It'll take a little while. I'm going to do another print. So I'm washing the next little test, and I did a bit of a dodge on this for about one stop because that was the first print, and I found that it was getting too dark. And here it's just kind of nice. It's uh, kind of nice and dark in here. Nice and bright. It's a little, little dodge, just put my hand over it like that. For, it's 20 second, 22 seconds for the whole print, and about uh, and 11 seconds for here. So that kind of worked out well. I like, like the detail in that print pretty nice so 
bit more back to nature. This is on different paper. This is on uh, Agenta. And it's definitely also got that warm tones in there going on. Um, this is one to six. Supposedly it's supposed to go red, but I haven't seen this red. It's very much kind of a chocolatey brown, but we're gonna wait till the dry down and see how that looks like. So after the dry down, the brome silver comes out a little bit kind of bluey brown, but here's a standard development compared to what it looks like with this warm tone developer. Pretty impressive for a really simple formula. And here's the other brome silver. It's like brown coming through there. And this came out beautiful on Argenta paper. So I'm really happy with this uh, developer. And I definitely recommend you have a go with this at home. So if you've enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and hopefully I can answer them and hope to see you on the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.